Call from Erico 704. You're on live with the Black Channel. What's your name? Where are you calling from? What's good, Jason? This is Ty from Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm right here in the heart of um, Alabama, um, Montgomery. Um, I'm noticing that tonight's subject is about American Indians. And what I find to believe is that we already have the indigenous names, such as Gullah Geechee, it's Gwale Ogeechee. We got Tuskegee down here. Why would we call ourselves an indigenous name from here? What's your um, thoughts on that? I mean, certainly there are certain groups out there. Marcel Dixon has talked about that and whatnot. So certainly that is that is certainly something that is worth investigating. You know this with the Native Americans mm-hmm. here, guys, so especially in Homa, Louisiana. Okay, bro. slow down, dude. The host is talking. My hope my my caller's not getting lit early. It's, but they say spring mm-hmm. forward, fall back. What the Native Americans have done is they didn't just sit up here and choose a name, so we can't be one track minded or single celled about it. Yeah, you can choose a name, that's great. Then you're also gonna have to have a legal basis for it, and you're also gonna have to have documentation for it too. So what you're saying is one thing, sure. The name is not nearly as important as what are you going to do to enforce the validity of your claim. That's the most important part. Gotcha. So we have people that's out there that are black Americans that have fed recognition, such as Siku, Hidden Eagle, Hot Joe. Okay, well, slow down. down. Okay, sir, slow down. Here's the issue, though. Where are their attorneys at? Oh, they have attorneys, bro. Okay. So you're saying that they've already filed suit and filed a case and got their congressman on it? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. They're on, um, they're in uh, City Hall. They're actually, they have things that are already okay, put well, in place. Sir, okay, well, sir, okay, yeah, because the Homa Indians and whatnot, they're not at City Hall. They're, they're with the United States congressman, not City Hall. So I think I found where you, mm-hmm. I think I found where you stumbled. They're not in front of a Congress, not in front of a City Hall. They're with a congressman. Yeah, they are. They actually are working to get our restitutions for those that can trace their lineage back to like the Yamasi, the Okuni, the um, Hichiti, the Seminole. Okay. Well, definitely. If they make some headway on that, let us know. Thank you very much for giving mm-hmm. us a call tonight. If they make any headway, let us know. So it's I'm not talk about that. Call from area code nine two nine. You're on live with the Black Channel. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, uh, my name is Ralph uh, Yonkers, New York. All right, Ralph, how the Yonkers? What's on your mind? Hi, uh, I've been listening to you for quite some time, and I definitely admire your work. And uh, what I like to know is that it's kind of difficult for me to ascertain, but I've been trying to figure out, sir, are you an activist or an entertainer? It doesn't matter. What are you going to do with the information? Well, it would help uh, for me to know who I need to fund and what your goals are, sir. Because if your goals are merely to entertain, that's one thing. But if your goals are being an activist, then I need a track record of okay, that. Okay, sir, so that I sir, can if, you watch, that. if you watch Jon Stewart, he's an entertainer, but he's got political commentary. Personally, I don't care what you back and I don't care what you believe. So if you think I'm an entertainer, go with that. If you think I'm an activist, well, I'm go with that. You, I, I sir, think I, sir, I'm if you've been listening to me for a while, you've already seen everything you need to see. So if that's not good enough for you to if make a determination, all, then that doesn't matter. You, sir, sir, I have a whole 15 year library of programs you can go over and then you can determine if i'm worthy but, but of whatever sir, it is now. but Why sir you sir, the question, sir? I've, i just answered your question for the last time i don't care what you think do whatever you want to do i'm not here to prove but anything to some think, stranger sir? sir i don't care what I you care think what you because think. i'm not here to prove anything to a jackalope who just called me out of nowhere i don't have to prove anything to you i have nothing i'm I interested in proving you to think. you could be donating money to you, sir. Sir, you could be. You also could be scratching your ass in the middle of Michigan Avenue. Neither one will make a difference. After I'm done. And nothing will make a difference. So whether you're satisfied with it, whether you feel like it, if the spirit moves you, great. I, I, if I, I it, get it doesn't, I get it, sir. so you're, you're what? An enter- you're an entertainer. 
Somebody come get they drunk uncles. You need to prove something to me. The only thing I need to prove to you is that you can get off my phone. I need to prove that to you. But brother, I don't care if I could give you money, dude. Is it, That's when you know you're dealing with the old niggas. Well, can you prove this to me? I ain't here to prove a damn thing to you. Are you an entertainer? Well, some people say I'm entertaining, but why does it matter? Well, are you an entertainer or an activist? I would like to get some documentation. Uh, what exactly are your credentials for this? Well, I have some money to give you. Okay, sir. You know what the great thing is about being Jason Black? I've never, ain't no bastard anywhere going to be able to hold a dollar over my head to get me to change what I say. That's the great thing about being me because I'm not financially struggling. Unlike a lot of bum asses out there, I'm not financially struggling. So when some jackass with his waving his pension check, some clown is waving his pension. I used to work at the airport. I used to be a substitute teacher. I could contribute. Dude, you could contribute. You could contribute or you will carry your ass. Either one, it won't make a difference. He wasn't ready to hear that. Dude, I don't need your money. I don't want it. Why don't you go pay for an IQ? How about that one? Why don't you keep them little $3 in your pocket and pay for an IQ and a personality? He sounded like Carlton Banks. Isn't he? Hello, Jason. Um, I just wanted to find out exactly who you are hearing. And I wanted to get the rundown. Okay, well, I've got a whole list of programs. Well, I'm talking to you. If, if what you've already seen isn't enough, then talking to me won't. Well, you need to justify to me, dude. The only thing I need to do is justify to your mama that I'm not the daddy. That is literally the only thing I must justify. I can prove that I am not the daddy. As Michael Jackson said, I'm not the one. That's the only thing I got to justify to you. After that, you can get a little red wagon and carry your ass. Jason, did you say carry his ass? I sure did. And deal with it, nigga. You imagine some old broke bummy ass nigga calling me up. Can you explain yourself to me? Okay, nigga, and if I don't, then what? Well, what that means is, click. <gasps> I have money. I could contribute. Okay, why don't you just keep that money and shove it up your ass? How about that one? Why don't you take it, put it in an ice cream cone, uh, personally, my favorite is uh, Butter Pecan. Put it on the end of a pogo stick and ram it up your colon. How about that one? Boy, y'all, he really, he really thought he was impressing us. He thought he was going to impress us. I could contribute money. See, this is how they get them old niggas. They get them old niggas with that. Well, you know I got a few extra dollars. Ooh. Well, brother, let me explain exactly what it is right there. Like I'm hungry for a dime. It's, no, bro, that works on your side of town. It's, you you called the wrong phone for that. You called the wrong phone for that one. Let's see how hungry he is for a dollar. Can you believe some old bastard called me up to find out if bands will make me dance? Damn. Did he really call up to find out if bands will make me dance? Jason, I, I got something for you. What the, does he think I'm Lil Nas X? Does he think I'm Andrew Gillum? Well, Jason, if you say the right thing, I can send you some money. What the hell kind of messed up ass Halloween Havoc pimping is this supposed to be? Y'all, did this nigga really just sit up here and say, if I justify myself to him, he'll throw me a few dollars? Did I, did I really just hear that? Did y'all hear the same thing I heard? Well, Jason, if you, if you justify what you do to me, might be a little some in it for you. Did he really just say that? He really
really just told me if I, if I explain my thing, if you explain my thing, I can I can throw a few dollars your way. It's a few dollars in it for you. If somebody don't get Percy Earl's brother off my damn phone, 